Hello again, everyone. Today I wanted to show you sort of some random fountain pen purchases that I've made and a new art supply or a place to store new art supplies. I got all of these kind of around the same time, so I thought I would show them off at the same time. The one that I have not opened yet, which I'm gonna do first, is this fountain pen from Peyton Street Pens. So Peyton Street Pens, I've been hearing about from a variety of YouTubers lately. They specialize in vintage fountain pens. This is a vintage fountain pen, but it is on the very inexpensive side. And I found this particular pen when I was looking through some forums on fountain pens and stub nibs and different kind of nibs to try. And this is one that came up with a link to Peyton Street Pens and I had already heard about them many times and knew that they were reliable. So I thought, oh, well, this is a perfect opportunity to kind of try them out and Peyton Street Pens, I mean and to try this fountain pen, which is very light, by the way. So they sent it wrapped up in this bubble wrap. Okay, this is gonna make a little noise here for a minute. And then it's down here at the bottom of this bubble wrap. So although this is a vintage pen, it's not restored in any way. It was um, labeled as old new stock. So basically that means, for those of you don't, that don't know, it's basically a new pen that has been sitting around in storage for who knows how long. <laughs> so it's essentially a new pen, but it's old stock, meaning it's, meaning it's been sitting around for a while. I suppose you could have some corrosion over time or something like that, but it didn't look like that was gonna be the case with this one. So this is a Pilot pen in a double broad. It's an older model. And the nib definitely looks more like a stub than a double broad. It is just a stainless steel nib, but it is an older model and I cannot remember which model it is from Pilot. I will put, wait, let me see if it says on my receipt here. I just didn't wanna show it with my address. Yes, so it is a Pilot 78G fountain pen. Converter filled, gold plated nib, old new stock, double broad stub in teal. So they had a couple of colors, or three different colors actually, when I went and looked at it. And I thought, why not? It was only like $15, I think. Let's see, $19, sorry. And I figured that would be a good way to try out the pen place and how fast their shipping is and all of that. And there was no shipping fee, even on just a $19 pen. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda keep an eye out on Peyton Street Pens, and if there is, oh, this is like a little, um, oh, I don't know what you call these. It's like, it's like a, there's a little sack in here that's made out of rubber, I believe. And that, I guess, is something that could deteriorate over time. And what I might do is just put in a newer converter in here so that I don't even have to deal with that. Um, I could also put cartridges in it, but I think it takes pilot cartridges or converter. So the pilot converters, um, depending on which one you go with, and I don't know which one this would take, they're really low ink capacity. So I haven't really, I have one, but I haven't yet put it in one of my pens. I think that's the Con 70, meaning converter 70, that's the model, um, that I was going to put in one of my um, vanishing points and I haven't done it just because I've been doing okay with the cartridges I feel like the cartridge ink is okay as far as color goes and um, it's just so low capacity that I didn't want to be filling my pen all the time so that's the long and short of that but I thought that was pretty I'm not going to test any of these today but I just wanted to um, show that off so that's that pen this pen the next two are just cheapy Jin Hao pens, but I'll tell you why, these are the shark pens, if you can't tell, it's the whole set, and I'll tell you why I got these in a minute. So this one is, um, let's see, I have the box that it came in. So it came in this box. This I got from uh, Jerry's Artorama, which is kind of a strange place to get a fountain pen, <laughs> I have to say, because they're, they're more for general art supplies. But this particular fountain pen is specifically for sketching, supposedly, and it has a titanium nib, which I have never used before, and I still haven't tried this one out, but it, um, 
So it comes with this converter, and I think this takes international cartridges and international converters. It's German, as far as I know. Golden Rit, let's see. It says, Nibs made in Germany. Oh, so the pen is made in Taiwan, which isn't necessarily bad because, I mean, Twisbees are made in Taiwan, so and they're great pens. So, but the nib itself is made in Germany. And uh, like I said, I haven't tried it out yet. There are two different model types. One is uh, sort of rounded. It's it's sort of like the difference between a uh, Sailor Pro, Pro Gear and the 1911. This would be more like the Pro Gear where it's sort of stubby at the top and bottom. And then the other one is rounded at the top and bottom. The rounded one also doesn't have this screw area here for the cap to get screw on the back. They were calling this one more of a travel sketch pen, whereas the other one was more of a just general sketch pen. Um, this is supposedly specifically for sketching. It says sketch writer, and it actually came with a ridiculous amount of cartridges that are all water soluble, which is like, okay, water soluble. Um, so let's see, it came with, I, I kid you not, this is like a ridiculous amount of packages of ink cartridges. So um, various colors, let's see. It came with Simply Black, uh, Black Lagoon, I don't know what color that is, um, Midnight Sapphire, Deep Smoke, Toasted Walnut, Dark Mocha, and Burnt Carmine. I mean, that is just a ton of cartridges and each box contains 12 cartridges. So what I might do is try these out and see how I like them. I'm not necessarily opposed to them being water soluble. It just means that I would not be able to watercolor over sketching with this pen. So, um, but I could use it as sort of a water soluble ink to do watercolor like effects with the ink itself. So we'll see. I think I am going to go into this in a different video just because I have some other things to show you. So I'm not going to focus on each individual pen, but I just kind of wanted to introduce that pen. I had never seen it before. It was on incredible sale at um, Jerry's Artorama, like I was saying, <clears throat> which is the only reason why I got it really. <laughs> and I, I thought the nib, the titanium nib sounded interesting and I wanted to see how it felt. It's actually pretty substantial, especially when, I'm gonna take this box out of the frame here, especially when compared with this Pilot, which is super duper light. So I still have to decide what I'm gonna do about the cartridge um, or the converter, whether I wanna use cartridges. And then this one, I think I'm gonna try this ink first before I potentially move on to something else. Okay, so, um, and then I'll show you this little guy here in a minute. So these are both Jin Hao. This is another Jin Hao that I got off of Amazon that has the abalone shell in there. I basically wanted to test out another Jin Hao um, with the one I have already to see if that was sort of a fluke, being a really good pen. I, I think I need to write with the other one a little bit more too to kind of test it out. Somebody was telling me that uh, it kind of craps out after a while. So I don't know, so far it's so far so good on that pen, but I did want to kind of compare uh, another one to see if it wrote just as well. Because I assume that there's probably some quality variety given how cheap these pens are. This one was a little bit more expensive, <laughs> a little bit more, it's $12 as opposed to seven but I kind of like the look of it and I wanted to try it out. So we'll try that. So the shark pens are actually not for me. So I, um, and again, I'll show you this one at the end, this doohickey here. So I, uh, I was drawing with my nephew, my nephew is five, and he was, uh, actually, <laughs> so I should back up. What we were doing, I was doing some chromatography with him because he kind of likes science-y experiments and that kind of stuff. And I was, chromatography is a whole other story that if you want to know more about it, um, 
I'd suggest at this point Googling it, but I, I, I do plan to do a video in future with some chromatography strip examples. Basically, you have strips of paper, you put some fountain pen ink on the bottom of the piece of paper, uh, ab above the very bottom of the paper, and then you put the very bottom of the paper in water, and the water gets sucked up into the paper, and then the different colors in the ink are separated out onto the paper, and you can see what colors make up your fountain pen ink. It's actually really fun to watch, and it's it's a cool process. And I have some sheets that I will show in a future video, because I did want to do a whole video on chromatography and how kind of cool that is. But all that is to say, I was doing that with my nephew, and um, the way I was putting the ink on the bottom of the strip was to write it with my fountain pen and just a line across. And he was just fascinated by the fountain pens. And um, I didn't let him use the more expensive ones, but I did let him try one or two to draw with. He was actually super gentle with them. I was really surprised. I actually, <laughs> I don't have the little um, book that he was writing in, but he was, he was drawing really, really well with them. So I thought I, sh I need to find some pens that I can give him and not feel like, oh no, they're gonna get ruined and, you know, so. I had already heard that these were fairly good fountain pens generally. I know that Jin Hao pens are kind of, some people like them and then some people just think they're not legitimate, right? Or, or they're not quality enough for them. So I got these and I did know that they have converters in them. I kind of want to give him like a pen at a time out of this set perhaps. His favorite color is yellow. And um, I don't know if he's so into it anymore, but he was really into the whole Baby Shark song, which those of you that know kids or have kids, I'm sure you're familiar with the Baby Shark song. If not, again, Google is a good resource for that. Um, but uh, I'm sorry <laughs> if, you, if you go and look it up and start listening to it, it's gonna be stuck in your head. But anyway, so, um, so I thought a yellow shark would be perfect for his first pen to give him. And I do plan to give him more, you know, if he wants more. We're not seeing each other too much these days because we're trying to social distance as much as possible. So, um, so I've, we've been sending care packages over and doing things via Skype or, or uh, FaceTime, that sort of thing. But anyway. I was wondering as to whether or not I should use the converter in here or if I should just load it up with a cartridge and then or like give him several cartridges that him and his mom could just put back in here and throw away. It's a little less messy than filling up ink. So I think I'm going to actually ask his mom what she thinks and um, when I told my nephew it was like, I think there's actually fountain pens that have sharks on them. His eyes just like lit up and was like, oh my God. So I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to giving at least this first one to him and then we'll figure out. And black is good too. He likes black because it reminds me, him of Darth Vader, who is his favorite. Or at least was his favorite. I don't know. It changes all the time because he liked Batman for a while and now he's like, no, I don't like Batman. Batman's just a guy. He found out that Batman doesn't actually have superpowers, and now he's like, oh, Batman, whatever. Um, so anyway, that was the long story of why I have these shark pens, and I have to decide how I'm gonna give those to my nephew. And then this last item here, it's, it's obviously not a fountain pen, so it doesn't really go with these other things, but I thought I would show it because it is kind of an interesting thing. So for those of you who sort of recognize this, this is a watercolor palette. I purchased this off of um, AliExpress, which I had never purchased off of before. I'd kind of been afraid of like identity theft or something, I guess, <laughs> off of AliExpress, because it just seemed so cheap and chintzy and things come directly from China and who knows about the quality. But, um, but this particular watercolor palette had been, recommended on a couple of watercolor YouTube videos that I had seen. And so it seemed like a really interesting thing because you have the pans here. Because normally in little plastic watercolor palettes like this, you just have these little wells and then a mixing area in the middle. But this in the middle has um, these pans 
you, you they, it came with all these half pans but you could replace it with full pans or mix or whatever you'd like so I was kind of intrigued by it and wanted to try it out and I have not tried it out yet but I do plan to soon but it just seemed like a convenient way to pop in and out colors because normally when you have these palettes like I said you just have the wells and then you can't really swap out colors because your colors are in the wells and they're in the wells until you use them up so this seemed sort of like an interesting concept I will try it it seems you know a fine quality it is heavier than a lot of the other plastic palettes that I've used and that partially could be because of this middle bit here and I think it's removable yeah so you can take that out um, so you could take it out and just like move it over here or you know mix in this this spot here or not use it at all if you decided not to but it gives you a lot of options so I just wanted to show that off quickly I will put a link to this below in case you're interested and I'm going to put a link to this particular pilot pen on Peyton Street pens and then I'll also put a link to this pen on Jerry's Artorama but it is the last time I checked it's not on sale anymore and I'm not sure just given what I've currently seen of it not not drawing with it yet unless it's like an amazing pen I would not recommend it at uh, anywhere near the full price so uh, but I'll see I'll, as I use it I'll see I'll put a link to this Jin Hao pen and the shark pens as well but you know do with that what you will so that was it that was supposed to be somewhat quick but it turned out to be a little longer than I thought but that's it for today and feel free to like and or subscribe and I'll see you again next time all right thanks so much bye have a great day